Facebook whistleblower Francis Haugen on regulating misinformation and hateful content. This past March, Mark Zuckerberg told Congress, quote, others claim that algorithms feed us content that makes us angry because it's good for business. But that's, that's not, not accurate. accurate. I believe that the division we see today is primarily the result of a political and media environment that drives Americans apart. It's not Facebook, it's human nature, is what he's saying. I have a lot of empathy for Mark. Right? Like Mark has been working on Facebook since he was like 19 years old, maybe 18 years old. Like imagine spending your entire life building a thing which people are saying is dangerous. I think, so Mark's statements are very important in that he's highlighting that we have always had conflict. But the thing that Facebook is doing is it used to be the ways that we would connect with each other, the ways we learn about information about the world, was there was always a gatekeeper somewhere in between. Mark has never set out to make a hateful platform, but he has allowed choices to be made where the side effects of those choices are that hateful polarizing content gets more distribution, more reach. The company will tell you that it's taken down a lot of content. Mm -hmm. 31 million pieces of hate speech, 3,000 accounts that were spreading COVID misinformation. Mm -hmm. They put warnings on more than 190 million pieces of COVID information. I think that's a fascinating trade-off thing. So they say they've taken down 30 million pieces of content. They say they've put warnings on 190 pieces of content. Earlier in this interview, we talked about the idea that they were only detecting three to 5% of hate speech, right? Let's imagine if they are already putting warnings on 190 million pieces of, of COVID content, if they're only catching 10%, or let's be generous, 20% of pieces of COVID content, that means there's a billion pieces of COVID content they missed. Think about that, that's crazy. Two, and, two billion pieces of content they missed. And that's the part of the conversation that Mark is not talking about or Facebook is not talking about, is right now we have no independent transparency mechanisms that allow us to see what Facebook is doing internally. And we have seen from things like the Community Enforcement Report that when Facebook is allowed to create its own homework, it picks metrics that are in its own benefit. And the consequences, they can say we get 94% of hate speech, and then their internal documents say we get 3 to 5% of hate speech. We can't govern that. For Facebook's response, go to 60minutesovertime.com.